Hello students, hello everybody. All right, let me first introduce my name. My name is Pak Raka Prastia Bagus Jatikusuma from SMPN 45 Surabaya. Okay, student, I hope you are fine today and ready to follow the lesson today. I hope you and your family are in the best condition today healthy and always happy all the time. Before we start our lesson today, we should pray. Okay, let's pray to our Almighty God and hope for the best. Pray, start. Pray, finish. Students, in today's lesson, there will be three sessions. First, you will have the opening of the material you will learn today. Second, we will study about report text. The third one, you will learn the examples and do some quiz. Yeah, before we go deeper, on our topic today, let me ask you something. Have you ever watched a documentary film or videos such as National Geographic, Discovery Channel, or Watchdog, or maybe in YouTube? Right. Now, I will show you a video about documentary film let's watch it together and let's find out later what is it about when you think about a cactus you probably picture this or maybe this but cacti come in an amazing variety of shapes sizes and colors and while the thought of cacti may conjure up images of rocky and barren desert landscapes, they can actually be found growing in many different locations through the Americas. They can grow as far north as Canada and as far south as Argentina, with the greatest concentration and variety found in Mexico. There are more than 2,000 species of cacti in the world, and all but one are native only to the Americas. Cacti are masters at adapting to their environment. They can be found in the driest desert in the world, the Atacama Desert in Chile, where it can go for years without raining. Here, the cacti absorb water from the heavy fog that rolls across the desert, and while few in number, they can grow surprisingly large. In the more temperate and lush Sonoran Desert, which spans the American states of Arizona and California and parts of northern Mexico, hundreds of species of cacti thrive, including the mighty saguaro. Saguaros grow very slowly, but over their long lifespan of up to 200 years, they can reach heights of 40 to 60 feet. But cacti don't only grow in deserts. They are also found in prairies and grasslands, growing on rocky outcroppings, and even in tropical rainforests, where special types of cacti grow in the trees. In order to survive in hot and dry climates, most cacti have spines instead of leaves. These spines help protect the cactus from animals, reduce the flow of hot air next to the skin of the cactus, and even provide some shade to the plant. Cacti typically have thick stems, which act as reservoirs for storing water. These stems are covered with a tough, waxy skin, which prevents water from evaporating. A fully grown saguaro cactus can absorb hundreds of gallons of water in its pulpy flesh. Most cacti develop extensive but shallow root systems to absorb as much rain as possible before the water evaporates in the bright sunshine and high temperatures of the desert. 
Did you know that all cacti produce flowers? These flowers come in a variety of colors and are often large, showy blossoms of red, orange, yellow, or lavender. Some types of cacti bloom for only a single day or only at night. This reduces the amount of time that water can evaporate through their fragile petals. Gardeners and landscapers often plant cacti in their gardens because they require very little water and remain green all year long. God has created these beautiful and unique plants with everything they need to survive and thrive in some of the harshest climates on Earth. Okay, that's a video for you. So now, what is your opinion? Do you get something interesting from that video? That's right, the video is about cacti, or you may call it cactus. In the video, we see many knowledge, many details about cacti, and it is general. Jadi di dalam video tersebut kita mendapatkan suatu detail atau banyak sekali pengetahuan baru tentang kaktus. Ya, tentu saja ini bukan deskripsi kaktus secara spesifik. Di dalam video tersebut dideskripsikan kaktus secara umum dan secara luas. Kita mengetahui tentang bentuk dan jenis-jenis kaktus yang tersebar di seluruh dunia deskripsi tersebut bukanlah pendapat pribadi melainkan berdasarkan fakta-fakta yang dikumpulkan oleh pembuat film atau penulis naskah jadi mari kita perbanyak literasi untuk meningkatkan pengetahuan kita nah dari video tersebut Sebenarnya kita sudah mempelajari satu jenis teks Yaitu teks report For more details about report teks Let's see the next coming explanation Nah, sekarang kita akan lanjutkan ke penjelasan secara detail dari report teks Mari kita lihat Okay, hello students, hello everybody. Yeah, my name is Mr. Aka. I will be your teacher today. Yeah, today I will teach you about report tags. Okay, students, let's start by seeing the competency dasar of report tags. Yeah, you can see that we will do this in our lesson today. Next, we will see our learning objectives. Ya, yeah, tujuan pembelajaran kita dalam pelajari report teks adalah nanti kalian bisa menyebutkan fungsi sosial tentang teks factual report. Kemudian kalian bisa menganalisis struktur teks factual report dan kalian bisa membedakan unsur kebahasaan pada beberapa teks factual report sederhana. In this video, I will explain three things. Now first, I will explain about the definition and purpose of report text. Second, the generic structure of report text. And the last, there will be language features of report text. Okay, let's start from the definition first. Ya. Yeah. Definition of arti dari report text. Report text adalah teks yang mempresentasikan atau mendeskripsikan suatu informasi ya sebagai hasil dari observasi yang sistematis dan juga analisis. Ya. Yeah. Deskripsi dari report teks ini berdasarkan fakta yang telah dikumpulkan. Kemudian jika ada yang bertanya, apa sih perbedaan antara 
Report Text, dan Descriptive Text. Oke, okay. mereka akan jelaskan di sini. Ya, pertama kita akan belajar dulu persamaannya. Persamaan antara report dan descriptive text. Ya, kedua teks ini sama-sama memberikan gambaran secara langsung tentang seseorang atau suatu benda. Nah, sekarang perbedaannya. Perbedaannya adalah deskriptif lebih ke penilaian subjektif yaitu merupakan pendapat sendiri atau opini pribadi contohnya I have a cat it has a beautiful fur color ya jadi di sini lebih ke pendapat kalian secara pribadi jadi pendapat belum tentu sama dengan pendapat orang lain ketika melihat suatu binatang yang bernama kucing ini Sedangkan report text menjelaskan sesuatu dengan lebih objektif Yaitu lebih secara umum berdasarkan fakta Ya, Contohnya cat is a poor legs animal and it has two ears Ya, Jadi ini adalah pengetahuan secara umum di mana semua orang tahu bahwa kucing itu hewan berkaki empat Ya dan memiliki dua telinga ya yeah. oke okay, next is the purpose of report text yeah. its social purpose is presenting information about something they generally describe an entire class of things whether natural or made animals, the planets, rocks, etc jadi biasanya tujuannya mempresentasikan informasi tentang suatu hal ya, ini yang dideskripsikan secara umum tetapi menyeluruh ya, bisa tentang alam atau buatan manusia atau hewan, planet, batuan, dan sebagainya oke, okay, let's learn about general structure of report text First, it is general classification. Yeah. In general classification, we state classification of general aspect of thing, animal, public place, plan, etc., which will be discussed in general. Jadi di generic structure yang pertama adalah klasifikasi umum. Di sini kalian membuka suatu teks atau report teks dengan suatu pengetahuan umum paragraf kedua yaitu description it tells what the phenomenon under discussion in terms of parts, qualities, habits, or behavior jadi di paragraf kedua ini lebih detail lagi kalian mendeskripsikan banyak hal seperti bagian-bagian kemudian kualitasnya, habitat, perilaku dan sebagainya dan kembali lagi ini sesuai dengan fakta yang telah kalian kumpulkan and then the third one we will learn about the language feature of report text yang pertama ya ciri-ciri kebahasaannya dari teks report ini menggunakan simple present tense Ya, kalian sudah mempelajarinya di kelas 7 dan 8. Alright, that's all my explanation for today. Ya, itu semua penjelasan tentang report text yang Mistraka bisa sampaikan di sini. Ya, kita sudah membahas tentang definition, purpose, generic structure, and language features of report text alright that is the explanation of report text how is it? do you understand about it? it's easy right? ok, stay still and don't go anywhere we will come back again yes yeah, students 
Mistraka is compared to care. Now I will show you the example of report text. Let's see together and learn from this example. The example of report text. Ya, di sini ada sebuah report text. The title is mobile phone. Look at the first paragraph. First paragraph is called general classification. Jadi di paragraf ini kita disajikan pengetahuan secara umum tentang mobile phone. Ya, di sini sebutkan a mobile phone is a very small portable radio telephone. Ya, semua orang tahu itu. Kemudian di paragraf kedua dan ketiga kita disajikan discussion atau description dari report text ini. Jadi di paragraf kedua dan ketiga ini dijelaskan atau dideskripsikan secara detail tentang mobile phone berdasarkan fakta-fakta yang sudah dikumpulkan. Jadi di situ ada sejarahnya, kemudian ada harga dan persebarannya di dunia secara umum tidak menyebutkan merek ataupun brand secara spesifik dan juga bukan merupakan opini pribadi Oke, okay, that is the example of report text I hope you understand it Right now, I have an activity for you Let's do guessing I will provide you with a text and you must guess which one is descriptive and which one is report Are you ready? Okay, let's do this Alright, it's time for quiz The purpose of this quiz is to check students understanding the report text or descriptive text How do we identify the text? First, to decide whether it is report or descriptive, we need to know the subject of the text. The subject of the text is something which is being told in the text. Second, we need to know is the detail general or specific the last one is the discussion in the description of the text based on fact or opinion jadi pertama kita harus menentukan subjek atau apa yang dibicarakan di dalam teks tersebut yang kedua kita harus tahu detail dalam teks tersebut dijelaskan secara umum atau spesifik yang ketiga teks yang didiskusikan di dalamnya berisi fakta atau hanya pendapat seseorang saja here we go the text number one let's take a look for a while can you guess it is it descriptive or report text that's right it is descriptive text Because we know the subject of the text is Andy's house. The whole text talking about Andy's house. And it is based on the writer's opinion. Next, the second text. What do you think? Is it report or descriptive text? Okay, find the subject of the text first. Is it described generally or specifically? Apakah berdasarkan fakta atau pendapat pribadi? Silahkan ditentukan. Sudah kalian temukan jawabannya? Ya, yeah, correct. It is report text. The third one, can you guess it? Report or descriptive? Oke, okay, 
I will give you time to take a look at the text. The title of the text is Good and read the sentence one by one. And you will find the subject of the text and you can decide whether it is general or specific based on fact or opinion. Okay, time's up. What is the answer? Wow, that's impressive. Right, it is report text. This text is talking about codes for general. Okay, the last one, text number four. Just like usual, you need to decide whether it is report or descriptive. Okay, 100 for you. You can answer all the question perfectly. And the answer is descriptive text. Well, it's easy, right? Wow, I really appreciate it. You are very impressive and amazing. Now, I have an assignment for you to do. Let's check it out. You can take notes at your book. Take a picture of it and then submit to your teacher at school. Finally, this is the end of our meeting today. Thank you for watching the videos from the beginning until the end. I hope this lesson is useful for you. And students, don't forget to always do 3M. Mencuci tangan, memakai masker, dan menjaga jarak. Goodbye and thank you. See you next time.